Welcome back everyone, I'm Craven and this is Trails in the Sky. Last time we went all over town talking with everybody once again because of the updated text after the mayor quest where we picked up the big crystal Esmolas. And right now we need to escort two people from the liberal news to gather a new story, I think at the Tower of Esmolas, but let's talk to them and find out the details. Hmm. Who are you kids supposed to be? Are you perhaps the reporter from the liberal news? That's right, but how do you know that? I like getting this coupon things, but I hate it when people try and pry in my life. The business do you have for me? Well, we're here representing the Brazer Guild. We were told that you had requested an escort. Ah, so you've finally come. Have you? I've been waiting forever for you guys to show up. So, where's Cassius Bright? Mm, well, the thing is, he had another job coming up, so he's not even in our land. Wh what? I came all the way here so I could get a store on this famous bracer. Crap, what a waste this trip uh, turned out to be. Oh, I don't uh, get what you're so disappointed about, but there is no need to get your boxers in a bunch. We've got you covered. I uh, guess I don't have much of a choice. You'll have to do. Wait, what did you just say? Don't get your boxers in a bunch? No, no, no. I mean, we've got you covered part. What do you mean by that? Well, it's just like Joshua said. We are your representative bracers. Oh, and uh, here's our referral. Hey, this has got to be some kind of bad joke. Are you trying to tell me that you little rats are bracers? Brats? Is that how you're supposed to address a lady? What do you mean, lady? There's nothing sexy about you in that outfit. If you don't like my assessment, then how about slipping into a skirt and acting like all the other girls your age? This clothing is specifically designed for those who wield a staff, and this looks like a skirt too. Are you blind? You're such a rude old man. Who are you calling old? I'm still in my 20s, damn it. Uh, getting back to business, sir. The fact is that we were dispatched by the guild. I'd be more than happy to introduce you to someone else, but I don't know when they'll be free. Ugh, I can't extend the deadline any longer. I guess I've got no other alternative. Alright, rejoice you kids, I'm going to leave this up to you. Ah, uh, what a generous old man you are. Easy Estelle. I'm Joshua and this here is Estelle. And you are? I'm Niall Burns, ace reporter for the Liberal News. Though we won't be working long together, I hope you'll do a good job. I'll be grateful when this is all over too. By the way, where is it exactly that you want us to guide you to? Do I see it? You need a trusty guide because you're heading somewhere dangerous, right? Right, my destination is the Esmonos Tower. I'm sure you've heard of it before. Ah, that's it. Not only have we heard of it, but we were there on a job not long ago. Well, then this may just work out after all. So, what I really want you to do is to guide us all over to the, the tower's roof. I want to get a picture for the magazine. Well, aren't you the thrill seeker? By us, do you mean that someone else is coming along too? Yeah, I've got my camera woman with me. She said something about her orbital camera not working right, so she took off to the orbital factory. But she should have been back by now. If you were in a hurry, then wouldn't it be a good idea just to head there over right now? No doubt you're going to take off to get your story once we meet up with your partner, right? Yeah, that's true. Alright then, let's head straight to the tower once we picked up my partner from the Orwell factory. So it's probably the pink haired lady we saw there last time. She sounded very nice. Wait, anything but that. I'll do anything you ask, just please give me back my camera. It's worth more to me than my life. This is the problem. What should I do about this, Dad? Ah, you're the one who took the job, so you're the one who has to deal with it. Uh, what's the fuss all about? Could this person be... Yep, that's her, alright. Hey, Dorothy, how long are you going to keep me waiting? Niall, you came just at the right time. Please help me out here. But what did you do this time? You didn't waste all your money, so now you don't have enough for repairs, did you? 
That's amazing! How did you guess? Are you like a clairvoyant or something? Uh, when you do the same thing that many times, even an idiot would know what's going on. Do you know this person? I'm sorry to ask this, but... Can I get you to pay the repair cost? Fine, but I'll need you to write it off as a business expense. How much? Let's see. Mm, the decorative clock and the repairs together are 2000 Mira. Hold on. I can understand the repairs, but what's the deal with this decorative clock? Well, I was looking around the store while I was doing the repairs and uh, I saw a pretty clock and when I picked it up, it broke. But I'm glad we can write it off as a business expense. How wonderful is that? That kind of amount is not going to be covered. Crap. It looked like I'm going to have to pay it out of my own pocket and get my money back later. Here's your 2000 Mira. And this is your receipt. This is an unbelievably awkward combination if I've ever seen one. No doubt about that. But the fact that he'll pay out of his pocket for someone means he's probably pretty nice to work under. Ah, sorry to keep you waiting, kids. Had to take care of a little trouble. Who are these kids now? Oh, they're the braces who will be acting as our escorts and guides. They'll be taking the place of Cassius Bright, with whom we'd originally made arrangements. These young kids are? I'm Estelle. Nice to meet you. And I'm Joshua. Ah, so it's Estelle and Joshua, is it? You may be young, but you seem reliable. I'm Dorothy Hyatt. I'm the new cameraman for the Liberal News. At the moment, I'm training under Nile. Uh, but do I get stuck babysitting this blockhead of a girl? The damn editor-in-chief. Ah, relax, relax. Something good will come out of all of this soon. Ah, you're one to talk. Never mind, just forget about it. Now. That we've got everyone together, how about we go and get to our story? Our destination is the Esmond Tower, right? Alright, let's go! Right on! Alright, let's go to the tower! Should be easily enough. We know the road pretty well by now. Let's see, quite a short trip to get to the tower itself. And like I said, we know the way by now. <laughs> Wow, this tower is really tall. I wonder how many floors it has. Uh, the last time we were here, we only made it as far as the second floor. But judging from the scale, I'd say it's probably about five or six. There should be five, at least. That's what I've said in the book at home. It was investigated some time ago, but it looked like it was abandoned after that. That reminds me, it seems like there are a number of other towers like this in Liberal. That is correct. There are towers similar to this one in Bose, Ruan and the Zeiss regions. They all seem to have been built around the time that the Liberal Kingdom was founded. Is that so? I think I'm starting to feel the history already. My job is the, this time is to uncover the truth about them. Dorothy, give me a few long angle shots for this place. Sure. Here we go. Amazing. Is a photographer personality supposed to change by taking a camera in their hands like that? Well, she certainly looks like a pro. <laughs> Snore. Oh, that really hurt now. This happens every time you try to take a picture like that. Quit trying to act professional and just get me the shot using your usual style. I guess I shouldn't try to tone down my style just to look good. Well, I guess I'll have to do it my own way. Ah, looking good, looking good. Now that's what I call a sexy and cute. Here we go, say cheese. I don't get it. Why is she doing that when she's not taking photos of a person? Somehow, it seems natural for her. Ah, she says that she can see the expression of the scenery, whatever that's supposed to mean. And believe it or not, she takes some pretty breathtaking pictures acting all ridiculous like that. I guess it could be considered a type of genius. The kind that's borderline insane though. Wow, people sure never what they seem to be. Okay, I'm all done here. Alright then, let's get inside. We're heading for the roof, I'm counting on you two greenhorns. Yeah, 
Just leave it to us. We won't let any monsters lay a single paw on you. Please make sure to keep close behind us. Like they've been doing so far in the fights. Because that's the thing. Uh, when you're having NPCs with you, they do join you in combat as well. And, like I said, I don't know if enemies can target them. But I'm assuming they can. Alright, the first layer was totally monster free. So that's an easy one. And so I'm guessing from this point forward, where we had the scene with uh, Luke and Pat, that's when the level actually gets started. And of course, the enemies get introduced. So let's see what they can do. Well, that's not a good representation, because that's critical hits. <laughs> Not bad. Doable damage. Okay, so both of them need an extra assist to take an enemy down. Okay, that's good to know. Unless they have a strength increasing critical, I bet. Because they're really close to beating it on their own, so a little bit of extra strength will definitely go a long way. Into taking them down. That's that then. Let's move out. And almost leveled up once again. That's always good. There's another level. Let's check the rest out first, just in case there are chests. Could use a hurricane because we're all both level up almost, and when we do, we get everything restored, so we might as well use it. <laughs> Except the CP, of course. That's that. Then. Let's move out. Perfect. Yeah, so that's basically uh, nothing new for us. Alright, let's go one level higher. I'm betting it will probably get a little bit more complex than that. <laughs> okay, he's flying, so... I was gonna say, are these like the high evade enemies? Let's move. I'm glad so far they are not. And of course, uh, before we head over to the next level, before we head up the stairs, because uh, he said five levels, so we have a few more left to go as well. Uh, I think it's important that we make sure that we check out the entire floor, so we haven't missed any chests. Because if we go back down again, all the enemies will be probably be back as well. <laughs> So we might take advantage of an empty floor with all the enemies that we have defeated. Hmm. Does it mean that he's on the edge of soloing these type of enemies? Because that would be amazing. Does the other side connect to get at the beginning? No, this block as well. So this is the stairs. Is that too hard? I've seen that. Ooh, that's a lot of enemies. I'm sure we can take it. Four enemies in one attack. Definitely worth it as long as she doesn't miss. I 
Are they all using drain attack? Oh, the, the, the sheep wanted draining the EP. That's that's bad. Yeah, if I have a chance, I would love to take out the ones with the drain, but I don't think we have the attack power for that. It is nothing one go. So I'd rather clear the board than uh, trying to damage enemies all around. Yeah, take down the sheep. <laughs> yeah, it's not that it's strong, it's just annoying that it can heal itself. Because that would mean that it would potentially take us a few extra turns to get it down. And let's give him an extra heal. Yeah, and now we're actually seeing that how advantageous it is to unlock uh, our orbments. Because that extra EP we're getting from having uh, upgraded is definitely showing the usefulness. Need its shoes. You already took everything it had to offer. What more do you want? Everything. All right. Okay, so what we are seeing is that with every floor, the more complex the floor becomes. Might as well use tools just to make sure it's, it's instantly defeated. Even with the extra strength, it's not enough. Oh well, it's preemptive, so. Oh? Can enemies in the background influence a fight? That's actually really interesting. So, I wonder what it does. Cause the enemy resisted, so there's a chance that it's a f uh, an ailment attack. So would it be like blind? Because I can imagine that if she used the camera, she uses the flash on the enemies. Well, that's definitely something we need to keep an eye out of. There's the stairs. Let's explore more. Because I feel like there is more on this floor than just that. Oh, they turn around. There's not fair. We want to defeat you. I think this, these enemies are a good candidate for always using the craft skill. Just because of their absor absorbability. Literary tail, nice. Okay, this I didn't know, so... I want to, but I think I should. I think we should just take the hit and go with it. Oh, no, do not attack the client, please. I try to stand in between the enemy uh, and our client, and that doesn't seem to be working. Uh, let's see. I think it might be wise to 
Heal her up. I'm sure that once their turn is up, they will probably run for it. Yeah, I think uh, we just learned a valuable lesson here. Oh, you look simply marvelous. <laughs> then we shouldn't take chances uh, with our clients. We're in a dungeon like this. Uh, yeah, he can take down the fish. She so can go for the sheep. And then together we can take the shell out. Yeah, I think as long as uh, they don't go down, I think our BP will be fine. <laughs> At least I'm hoping so. That's that then. Let's move out. Okay, I really need to check the because it seems that there are two ways up. So which one are we going to take first? Because one will probably lead uh, towards the top floor and the other one probably towards the chest. So if it's up to me, I would rather go towards the chest first. Because, come on, we, we want our rewards. It just mocks you with its emptiness. And that's just we've already opened. Okay. So we just have to get a little loop. Yeah, it's definitely two stairs. So I'm gonna uh, guess with the other one to pick first. And no me. It will probably be the right one, but uh, one way to find out and that is to keep on moving forward. No, we picked the right one. Perfect. Because that way I don't need to backtrack afterwards to get uh, anything we might have missed. All right. we, will. we definitely do. A monster appeared. Ouch. So, hunted chests with monsters are a thing in this game. Alright. That uh, gives a whole other feel to uh, be careful. Uh, let's see. They have. No. Weaknesses or strength. Oh, he's all the way behind them. Okay, let's attack one. Because I want to make sure that uh, if he starts attacking it, that it goes down. Hold that pose. Yes, it's blind. Okay, so they are prone of using arts. And he is critical, so it's definitely going to take it down. Ooh. Ah! Okay, there's good enough away for us. That's good. No, it's actually not that bad. Yeah, they're going after the one that's arting. And I feel like I need to save up um, Estelle's CP gauge. Uh, just for the sheer fact that I don't know what the end of the tower will bring. Who knows, there might be a boss on, on top that we need to fight. So we need to make sure that we can take it down. Keeps on blind enemy. Perfect. Yeah, we definitely want to keep our distance from enemies that self-destruct. We've learned that lesson the hard way. All right, we're good to go. Tin staff. Ooh. Apparently someone already looted the chest. 
Now, who could that be? Now, wherever it is, the staff is mine. So, from 61 to 65. Ah, not that bad. Hoping uh, for more, but <laughs> we always do. I'm sure it's uh, fine. It's at least better than what we have. Alright, let's go down. Enemies are still here. Ha, perfectly dodged. <laughs> now let's get out of my back now. Alright, back to five on the other side. Potluck in a shell. And ask yourself how long that potluck has been in the chest. And if you feel lucky. Yeah. Can you imagine it being in there for years and years? And you try to eat it? Yeah, you might get sick. Oh, again, a lot of enemies. How can we make... Yeah, that's best. <laughs> Just to uh, get it down to a point that we can easily knock them out of the park. If not for this round, then the next. Yeah, I'm gonna take the enemy that's first away from Joshua. Perfect. Always like when an enemy is, gets blind. Yeah, so he can go after the fish, and she will go after the sheep. Like I said, drain abilities are annoying at best, but definitely one that you definitely want to get out of the way. Yeah, Joshua will survive the fight. I'm sure. If she doesn't miss... Just have the shell. All right. we rule. Yeah, you definitely do something. Okay, so now we're in the middle. That leaves back on top, but like always, we want to check the rest first. Do love the tree here on all the way on top uh, of the tower. Okay, that's blocked off. I don't see we have anything else here, do we? Nope. All right, on to the next floor. I'm just throwing myself around here, do I? <laughs> ah, there it is, the roof. Wow, it's bright out here. It looks like we finally made it to the rooftop. Would you look at the beautiful scenery? Now, this is something else. Looks like we'll be able to get a better shot than I originally anticipated. And that's the thing I was telling you about earlier. I wonder what that's supposed to be exactly. Well, it looks like a giant ornament operated cauldron if you ask me. According to my sources, it's some sort of ancient device. 
Although nobody seems to know what exactly it's used for. Hmm. Hey Joshua, did you know something like this was up here? Yeah, he did. Joshua? Ugh, it's no use hiding. I think it would be wise to come out where we can see you. Hmm? Please, don't hurt me. I'll come out already. I'm coming out right now. Who's this guy? So somebody right before we did, huh? What a surprise that was. Nice find, Joshua. And you are? Oh, I apologize. Please forgive me. I'll give you every last mirror I have, so please spare my life. Look here, buddy. Please don't mistake us for robbers or something weird. You do recognize this emblem, don't you? Estelle showed the man her guild emblem. Wait, isn't that the Bracer Guild? So, you're trying to tell me that you're Bracers? In the flesh. I'm Estelle, and this is Joshua. And uh, we're here as reporters from the Liberal News. We're here having these two people provide our escort so we can get coverage on the tower. Ah, oh, I'm relieved to hear that. Please, just don't ever scare me like that again. The fact that you came up here like that made me suspicious of you all. <laughs> Look who's talking. You seem like quite a suspicious fellow yourself. Do you mind telling us who you are exactly? Oh, I apologize for my belated introduction. My name is Elba, and I am an archaeologist. I came to investigate the tower in order to further my research of ancient civilizations. All alone? Huh. I'm surprised you made it here in one piece. <laughs> yeah, somewhat. But uh, actually, I've grown accustomed to investigating ruins like these. You see, I've got a lot of confidence in my ability to flee from monsters if need be. Although, this time I found myself in a bit of a pickle. You're one crazy scholar if you ask me. However, being an archaeologist would mean that you're familiar with the tower's origin, right? Well, more than the average person everywhere. Really. Anyway, but since I have only just begun my investigation, there are still a lot of things I don't know myself. Ah, fine, fine. But there's anything interesting you could tell us about this place? It will use for an article. Hmm, let's see. Well, has everyone heard of the Septarians before? Oh, I think uh, Father Divine may have said something about that before. You mean the seven treasures endowed with power and bestowed upon the ancient by Adios, right? Ah, that's exactly what I'm referring to. It seems that these ancients ruled the earth, seas and skies using the power of these treasures. It has also been written that they were able to unlock the secrets of life and time. Approximately 1200 years ago, when this ancient civilization was destroyed by a mysterious calamity, these Septarians were also lost. Hmm. There's this legend also recorded in the scriptures of the Septian church. But what does it have to do with this tower? A part of the legend states that one of these Septarians slumbers somewhere within Liberal. Its name? The Oriole. The Oriole? Hmm. That word certainly has a strange ring to it. If the legend is truly true, I figured I might be able to find some clues here at the tower since it's one of the oldest ruins in all of Liberal. So I came here to investigate. Aww, what an inspiring story. It is, isn't it? You can feel my passion for things of antiquity, right? This is splendid. I am overjoyed that there is someone else who understands the way that I feel. So, did you find anything, any of those clues you were looking for? Uh, I'm still working on that part. But if I can figure out how this device works, I might be onto something. Hmm. I think it's an interesting story, but as it stands, it's a speculative one. What if you've told me, I'm sorry to say, it wouldn't fly as an article. Ah, I see. That's extremely disappointing to hear. I'm surprised myself. Contrary to my expectations, you are serious about the articles you write. Ah, that's because I can write articles based on uncertain news sources. We may run the occasional gossip column, but it's the possible policy of the liberal news to verify our information. That aside, let's get uh, what we came here for, shall we? Dorothy? I want you to get several panorama shots of the Roland region. Everything else I'll leave up to your aesthetic touch. Now get out there and get me some good pictures. Understood. Your apprentice Dorothy Hyatt is ready for action. 
I like her. A bit flaky, but I think I like that about the character. And as for you, Mr. Archaeologist, how about heading back to town with us when we're done here? These two kids may look like a couple of brats, but they do a pretty good fine job as escorts. Something about the way you said that makes me feel like it wasn't a compliment. Ah, if it's alright with you to have me along, then that's far more than I could ask for. Ah, then I guess it's decided. So how about we take a break until Dorothy finishes getting her shots. Hm. Everyone investigating on their own? While well, waiting for her to get her, let's say, extreme shots done. <laughs> wow, the view is great from here. From this height I can see all of our land. The scenery is good. If someone turned this place into a tourist spot, they probably make a buttload of mirror. Yeah, you're probably right about that. Hmm? What's wrong? You look a little pale. Can't hide anything from you, can I? <laughs> After we stepped onto the roof, I just started feeling a little woozy. Are you going to be okay? Yeah, I think I'll be alright once I get a bit of fresh air. Why don't you make the best of this opportunity and have a look around yourself? But broadening one's knowledge during a time like this is all part of being a bracer. If you can come across anything interesting, then you can tell me about it later, alright? Sometimes she can be such a smooth talker, you know that? Alright, have a look around. But if you start feeling any worse, let me know, okay? <laughs> sure. He's afraid of heights. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, Estelle, this place is wonderful, isn't it? I'm even starting to wonder the number of photo quartz is going to be enough. The scenery sure is great, like you say. By the way, what is a photo quartz? Oh, it's an ultra-thin crystal circuit fabricated from septium. It's set up that you can take it as a photograph by burning it with light. Oh, that's just what I expect from a camera woman, someone who knows the tools of the trade. Tee hee. That reminds me, what's the deal with Joshua? Well, he says he's gonna get some fresh air. A raven-haired young man standing silently in the flowing breeze. I think I could take a really good picture with that kind of setting. Do you think he'd let me snap a shot of him if I asked? He doesn't seem to be a fan of that kind of stuff. I think he'd probably turn you down. Aww, what a waste. He's probably just shy, right? No, I don't think so. He has a little bit of a shady past, so maybe he doesn't want his picture being released in the press so people may come for him, that may be out for him. Cause we don't know what happened in the beginning when Cassius brought him into the uh, household, but I'm pretty sure those two were fighting before they got there. Assumption? Yes. But it could just be the case. There's definitely more to Joshua than meets the eye. I can definitely guarantee that. Ah oh man, the taste of a cigarette is wonderful. At first I wasn't in the mood to come to a story in a rural place like Roland, but huh, sometimes these types of places aren't so bad. If you want to be rude like that, then maybe you shouldn't have come at all. Ah, no can do. There was a direct order from the editor-in-chief to teach that blockhead girl a thing or two. Otherwise, it will be all over the kingdom searching for the last scoop right now. When you say scoop, don't you just mean gossip for your next article? Uh, not that I have anything against gossip, but reporting is predominantly greater. Even in a sense, the place that has my interest peaked is Bose. The Bose region? Did something happen there? Ah, a number of large blurg release have taken place one after another. The identity of the criminals is unknown, but it seems as though the group has got a pair of wings. Wings? Oh, I see, you mean an airship, right? What are they, sky pirates or something? Ah, it seems to be the most logical conclusion, but there's also the possibility that this could be an initiative, an, oh no, an imitative deception by the Erebonian Empire. What? That's impossible. We're supposed to have a peace treaty with them. Sure, but the Empire incurred some heavy losses during the war, ten years ago. They can't do much now that every nation on the continent has their eyes set on them, but it could be a way to get back at us. That said, nobody really knows for sure. Which is why our job as reporters is to bring these things to light. 
It does sound like an actual reporter that wants to do a good job. I think I'm liking him. The Royal Army has also been reported to make a number of uh, new pushes as well. I'll tell you what. One of me is just not enough to cover all the news. What do you mean by new pushes? You see, there was a young smart apple in the War College. And it seemed that they breathed a bit of new life into the understaffed and outdated Royal Army. I'd really like to figure out a way to get an appointment with the guy. Just try it. You wanna get an appointment with someone? The first step is to actually pick up that phone. <laughs> oh, hi there. Estelle, was it? Is your partner feeling alright? Yeah, he said he just wants to get a bit of fresh air. Ah, I see. There certainly is a nice breeze up here, isn't it? I want to say, however, that I'm impressed that the both of you are bracers at such a young age. If I remember correctly, one must be at least 16 years of age to qualify to be a bracer, right? <laughs> you sure know your stuff? That's right, I'm exactly 16 myself. Ah, oh, how nice it, is, nice it is to be young. There are limitless possibilities at that age. If I were about 10 years younger, I'd solve the mysteries of all these ancient ruins across the entire continent with these fairy hands. The entire continent, huh? Hm, that's a pretty tall order. Which means that you're not from Limbrol, right? Oh, no, no, I was born in the north. But just for the record, I'm not from Arabonia. <laughs> oh, you don't have to worry about that. Although, I hate war with a passion. That hatred isn't directed at the people of an empire. Uh, you lost someone dear to you? Yeah, my mother. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to bring up any painful memories. It's okay. It happened more than 10 years ago. And since then, there's been a new addition to the family. Ah, so you mean that boy over there? <laughs> yeah, he's like a little brother. Although, he's probably trying to act more like an older brother. <laughs> Okay, that, that looked weird. Or was it just me? Because he had some really shifty eyes, didn't he, in that picture? Nah, never mind. It's, it's, it's probably just my imagination. Uh, I wonder what I'm telling you all this for. Usually, this isn't the kind of thing a person tells others. Huh, it's perfectly fine. Armed good relations, such a wonderful thing. Yeah, I got my eye on you, buddy. Are you still feeling sick, Joshua? No, oh, I'm much better. I should be good to head back whenever everybody's ready. I'm relieved to hear that. So, what brought this tower... Oh, I mean, what brought this all along anyway? I thought it was a lack of oxygen in the tower because the rest of us are alright. Maybe it was a sudden fear of height? I don't think so. Estelle, Joshua! Are you finished taking pictures? You bet I am. I got a lot of good ones too. Then it looks like we're uh, done here. How about we head back to town? Alright, Greenhorns, lead the way. I'm counting on you, children. Aw, they took us back all the way. You didn't have to do anything for that. Ah, thank you so much for escorting me back here. This is the first time I've ever been able to make it back from some ruins without being chased, bitten, or. <laughs> I don't know. How to begin to express my appreciation. You don't need to thank us. It's our duty as bracers. I think you're better off hiring some bracers to begin with next time you go off to investigate some ruins. My head says yes, but my wallet says no. I'll try and save up a bit though. Well, have a wonderful day, and I hope we can all meet again. Ah, I think it's about time we said goodbye as well. I was a bit nervous at first, but you kids did a fine job. Let me just say thank you to the both of you. Ah, that's what I like to call raw skill. Now don't get all cocky on me. The braces I know would make you two look like little fledglings, not ready to leave the nest. You're going to need to work harder. I'll try to remember that. So, are the two of you headed back to the company soon? Nah, we're going to spend a day or so relaxing here in Roland. I need to write up a rough draft for some articles and such. And <laughs> I head over to the Orbital Factory and get these photographs developed. Take it easy, you two. I guess this is the last of the jobs we got from Dad. They were much tougher than it uh, than I thought they'd be. I agree with you there. 
I feel like I have a greater awareness now about what it means to be a bracer. It's not just about fighting for justice. <laughs> there you go again, saying all the right things. But yeah, I guess I get where you're coming from. Well, it seems like we've got a long road ahead of us, if you want to succeed in this profession. For the time being, why don't we report to the guild? It sounds like a great idea. Oh, but before we go, how are you doing? Still not feeling well? Oh, thanks for asking. But I'm feeling a lot better. Yeah, I'm still saying it's uh, his fear of heights. Could be something else, but... I have no idea what it is. The fear of heights seems really plausible seeing as how high up the tower we are. We were. So, I'm gonna leave it here. It's been a little bit longer than I wanted, but now we have the entire tower re nicely wrapped in one single episode, just like I wanted. So, next time we're gonna report back to the guild and see if they have some more jobs for us. If not, we're just going to continue on with where the story is going to take us. That's going to be next time. Until then, I wish you all a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. And if you're still here, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.